Korean President Moon saying North Korea is open to major concessions and negotiations with the United States. President Trump clear on what he expects from a potential summit with the rogue regime. I hope to have a very successful meeting. If we don't think it's going to be successful, Mark, we won't have it. We won't have it. Uh, if I think that it's a meeting that is not going to be fruitful, we're not going to go. If the meeting when I'm there is not fruitful, I will respectfully leave the meeting. Here now is Peter Brooks, a senior fellow for National Security Affairs at the Heritage Foundation. Peter, read the tea leaves. What are you hearing there? I think it's very practical. I like it. Uh, you know, the president's going to be a tough negotiator. Uh, he understands the history of North Korea. We've had agreements with them in the past. They've left them. A lot of the rhetoric we're seeing, Melissa, we've seen before. In other words, we've kind of seen this movie before. We're going to have to see if this has, one has a different ending. Yeah. Uh, and I, so that's, that's, kind of where, that's kind of where we're at. It, it, you know, it's a different manner of speaking for the yeah. president, so it makes you think he's listening to someone that he would say, I will respectfully walk away. You know, I mean, not that it's right. necessarily a different tactic, but that's just not the language he usually uses. Right. So you're it's, thinking it's, to it's yourself, true. who's he listening to? Is it Pompeo? <laughs> Right. Well, it could be. It's good staffing. It's yeah. certainly good staffing. It's the right thing to say. Uh, he's going to be a tough negotiator. I believe that he is from his, uh, his business acumen. Yeah. Uh, and he's telling North Korea, he's telling the American people, he's telling friends and allies and other enemies that uh, he's serious about this. And if they're not serious when they come to the table, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. But, but I think, you know, this could be a first meeting that could lead to further meetings. I mean, they haven't given themselves a lot of time, quite frankly. Uh, you know, a lot. I've worked on presidential visits in the past when I was in the Bush administration, and you know these things start six or so months in advance. Yeah. Uh, and this one hasn't given as much time, but we, you know we're going to see what we see. But we what don't happens. have a lot of time, maybe. I mean, right. he was left this terrible mess. Everybody else has had all the time in the world, and you know they've only made it worse. One of the criticisms on the left that's been repeated again and again is that people are quote unquote afraid that the president is going to go without preparation and just go off the cuff. Um, which is certainly, there's no, I mean, right now it seems like there's no evidence for that. He already sent someone for an advanced meeting. You right. could tell by that conversation, that by those things that he was just saying right there. I mean, that's the result of a, of a lot of thought and discussion with someone. Your thoughts? Well, he's gotten the North Koreans to the table, essentially. I mean, we're not there yet. And we're going to learn a lot more next week when the North and South meet. That'll be, uh, I guess, probably uh, Thursday our time. Uh, but so, the president has gotten them to the table already, so I, I don't have those concerns. When you say we're going to learn a lot when they meet, what are the yeah. signs that you're looking for out of there? Well, we're going to get a debriefing. I, I really want to know what denuclearization means, Melissa. I mean, this gets curiouser and curiouser, and I never really thought that North Korea would come to the table and be willing to do this, and they haven't done it yet. Right. And like I said, we've seen a lot of these promises in the past. But I want to see what happens at the table there, what the, you know, what the demands are, what's the quid pro quos for denuclearization. Uh, and we'll get a sense of that from the meetings between North Korea and South Korea uh, next week, and then we'll formulate from there. So it's, yeah. it's a very dynamic process we're involved in right now. Peter Brooks, thank you. Love your Thanks insight. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.